um, because it's really important to our recommendations. So can you just kind of tell us a little bit more about what satisfaction means? Our goal is to make sure people are happy with both the videos they're recommended when they open YouTube on their homepage and when they're watching a video in their watch later or their watch next feed. Uh, and we also want people to, once they've seen a video, be happy with the fact that they watched it. What is this? What are the implications for creators? Yeah, so I would like to say first that, as always, YouTube's goal is to help viewers find videos that they enjoy watching. And satisfaction is just a piece of that. So as a creator, uh, what you should be thinking about is creating content that is good for the audience. So if you create content that's good for your audience, viewers are going to be happy with it, and the system is going to be recommending it. How should a creator know whether whether their content is good for the audience? Yeah, so there's there's a couple factors to this. On one side, when creating the content, I would say if you are creating content that is misleading, that's like clickbaity thumbnails that are meant to get people to click on them, but then the content is actually not delivering on that, uh, you can assume that it's less likely to be satisfying to users. Why the bus you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, we have several challenges. We work with machine learning systems that use this information uh, to better surface uh, recommendations that are good for our users. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. 